At the opening ceremony this afternoon, Jiang Jianguo, deputy head of publicity department of the CPC Central Committee, highlighted the importance of China studies, with studies on the CPC as its core. Only through studying the CPC's centennial history and its spirit can people understand why the CPC has succeeded and how it will continue with the successful cause. The studies are expected to offer inspiration for world governance and help achieve a better future for mankind. Boris Tadic, former president of Serbia, said China is giving a new meaning of the term modernization through its practices, despite the fact that modernization as a theory has its origins in the West. One of the examples of the China's modernization efforts is the 14th Five-Year Plan. The plan envisages a rapid growth of economic, scientific and technological strength and the new level of income per capita in urban and rural areas, but also a vision of a great modern socialist country that might be the historical transformation of socialism itself. Three scholars won this year's award for Distinguished Contribution to China Studies. One of the winners is Joseph W. Asherick, an American scholar who studied the social history of modern China and has been researching the origins of the Chinese Revolution in Shanganning for 30 years. About 150 scholars in five parallel panels will address the centennial history of CPC tomorrow, as well as its economic and social significance for China and the world. The biannual World Forum on China Studies has been held eight times. More than 2,500 experts from over 90 countries and regions have attended the forum since it began in 2004. The focal point of the forum has shifted from panels on implications of traditional Chinese culture to the impacts of China's contemporary development. Zhang Hong, Shanghai Life.